Hi, it's Andrew Bell, AbleSim here. We're going to have a look at some of the issues and problems people get into in Microsoft Project when they're dealing with durations. Uh, I'm going to open up a blank project, and the first thing I'm going to do is make everything automatically scheduled. I'm going to insert a task, which is going to be uh, paint the room. And then uh, for clarity, I'm going to insert two more columns. I'm just right clicking in the heading area. I'm inserting the column for work. Press W on the keyboard. Right clicking up here. I'm inserting another column. Inserting cost. Press C on the keyboard. And then we can see what we're doing with this task. Uh, let's just nip to the resource sheet. View the resource sheet. And I'm going to put my resource in here, painters. I'm going to give them £10 an hour. Let's just leave it at one at the moment. Back to the Gantt chart view. So uh, the problem most people get when they use Microsoft Project is um, they put in the task paint room and they say this is going to take five days. And when they make that five days, lo and behold, the Gantt bar stretches out to five working days. So uh, it's not working the weekend here. And um, th they're quite happy with that. Um, they then assign the resource to the task. Uh, lots of ways of doing this. I'm going to double click the task, click on resources and assign the painters. And now we've assigned the resource to the task because it's five days and five days is 40 hours. Uh, the work column is now saying 40 hours of work. And because we pay the painters uh, £10 an hour, the cost is £400. Now, this is all well and good, um, but it assumes that the painters are working full time on this task. Um, for instance, uh, we might say this is a 10 day duration task. And look what's happened. We're now saying there's 80 hours of work, two 40 hour weeks, and there's uh, £800 cost, 80 times £10. And what people often don't do is they don't realize there's a difference between work and duration. Uh, in this case, we might say that there is 20 hours of work in the task, um, but it's going to take five days. Uh, so as soon as I put in 20 hours of work, as soon as I put in 20 hours of work, the computer says it's two and a half days, because that is eight hours a day times two and a half. Um, but if I say, no, 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 I want this to be five days, the computer will increase this to 40 hours of work. And this is where people can get frustrated. First of all, they don't even bother with the work and the cost columns. And secondly, they don't realize the relationship between work and duration. So that's the problem. And the next little video clip, we'll look at solving it. Thanks for listening.